Do you have a pet at home? A cat? A dog? Maybe even a hamster or a fish? When I was young, I remember going with my family to adopt a pet puppy. When we brought it home, I was obsessed. But over the next few months, our puppy started to change. It grew so fast that pretty soon it couldn't fit into its dog bed. Then it kept growing and growing until our tiny puppy had become a huge dog. While I still love my dog, sometimes its size causes problems. We can't share a couch. And when we go for a walk, I can barely hold on to the leash. When I talked to my parents, they told me that growing is just a part of life. But why does it have to be? That brings us to our big question for today. Why can't puppies just stay puppies forever? What do you think? To investigate this question, let's take a closer look. Puppies, just like all plants and animals, change over time. But everything starts when an animal is born. Then, over some amount of time, that animal grows and gets larger. Once they're fully grown, they're able to reproduce and create more babies before eventually dying. These different stages form what we call a life cycle. Do you remember the four stages of the life cycle? Let's explore each stage in the life cycle of a dog. Dogs are a type of animal called a mammal. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that have fur, such as horses, cats, lions, giraffes, and gorillas. Dogs, like all animals, begin their life at birth. Dogs and other mammals have live births. This means that when the puppies are born, they are fully developed, unlike animals like birds, whose babies are born in eggs. However, while they are young, puppies need constant care from parents in order to survive. As time goes by, the puppies begin to grow and change physically. Even though the puppies are getting larger, their general characteristics stay the same. They have four legs, two ears, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. They're just larger in size. After they complete their first growth phase, the puppies will now be young dogs with lots of energy. But they are not done growing yet. They will continue to grow, and once the young dog has fully grown, it's ready to enter the next stage in their life cycle, adulthood. During adulthood, the main priority for animals is reproduction. Reproduction is a priority because if an animal doesn't reproduce, there won't be any more babies. And without more babies, there will be fewer and fewer of that type of animal over time. After a long period of adulthood, every animal must also die. Without death, the number of animals will keep getting bigger and bigger. So while I might sometimes wish my dog was still a puppy, just like every other animal on earth, my puppy will go through all the stages of his life cycle. Every plant and animal will go through the four stages of birth, growth, reproduction, and death. Now that you've learned about life cycles, it's time to show what you know. Your friend is building a model of the life cycle of a tiger and asks for your help to finish it. He has these two boxes left to complete in his model. Which of the following should go in box A? Which should go in box B? We see that box A comes right after reproduction. That means box A is after the tiger is born. It will be a tiger cub. Box B is what happens after the young tiger grows. Young animals grow and become adult animals. 
So box B needs to be an adult tiger. From this lesson, remember, all plants and animals go through a life cycle that includes birth, growth, reproduction, and death. That's all for now. See you next time. Stay curious.